everybody. Welcome back to Real Good Pilates. I'm Michelle and today I have for you a reformer workout using our reformer box. We're going to keep it on in the short box position the whole entire time. Uh, if you happen to have like a sticky mat kind of like this, this is kind of what you like line your drawers with, uh, this really helps to not have your pants slipping on the box. If you don't have one, it's all right. Just be mindful that you feel secure on the box and not slippery with your pants on it. So you may need to go lighter on the springs if you feel like you're slipping. Okay, so have two red springs on. Box is in front of the shoulder rests. And then if you have a sticky mat, you're gonna place it right on the middle of the box and then take a seat. You wanna sit with your sitting bones pretty close to the front edge of the box. And then you're gonna place your heels on the platform, legs under the foot bar, okay? Knees pretty straight, ankles flexed. We're gonna sit up tall and just take an inhale. As you exhale, you're gonna fold forward, reach out and grab onto the corners of your foot bar and just give a gentle assistance to pull your body over the legs. And then as you inhale, release the bar and sit back up. And we'll do that again. If you need to have knees more bent or feet more flat, you can adjust the legs. Good. Let's do this a couple more times. Try to leave the pelvis pretty vertical and really pull into that C curve of the spine. Very good. Let's do two more times here. Exhale, draw the abdominals back towards your spine. Good, last time. So nice. Now let's stay in this forward fold for an extra breath or two. Every time you exhale, see if you can get a little deeper stretch pulling with the arms. One last time. And then slowly return yourself back up to sitting. Very good. All right, take your feet off the platform and set them on the edge of the carriage. Uh, our feet are gonna go up onto the foot bar. If when your feet get up there, you feel too much tension in your hip flexors or like you can't sit up all the way, feel free to adjust your foot bar so it's lower or further away from you. All right, so heels are gonna be on, legs all the way together if that's comfortable. Place your hands on the front of the box and you're gonna push your hands back into the box to help you sit up taller. So you get this kind of oppositional pressure to help your spine. All right, now flex your ankles, take a breath in. You're gonna extend your knees and push the carriage out. Bend the knees and return. Yeah, exhale to push, inhale to return. Good, so by sitting at the very front edge of the box, you're gonna give yourself the biggest range of motion possible. Okay, so kind of seated footwork is what we're thinking of this as. Similar to stomach massage, if you're familiar with that exercise, but the nice thing here is we're propped up much higher, so it's a little bit less intense on our hip flexors, and we have a little more space than we would for a typical stomach massage exercise. All right, now we're gonna add some flexion. So as we push the carriage away, you're gonna press even harder with the arms and fold over your thighs, and then inhale, come back up to sitting. And do that again, exhale. So really use the abdominals to push the box back with the hands, and then return up tall. Good, exhale, and then lift. Nice, so it becomes a little bit less about the legs and way more about the abdominals. Good, couple more times. Push with the palms and then lift. Okay, now let's push back and hold our flexion and continue bending and stretching the knees to bring us in and out. Good, keeping that forceful press with the hands. Good, and then it gets into a nice little spine stretch here, keeping the flexion for three. Belly button back, two. Last one. And then come in and sit yourself up tall. Okay, keep the leg position. Just switch to the balls of the feet. Heels are lifted. And then we push out from here, away, and then return. Good. Being up on the toes gives us a little bit bigger range of motion and makes the springs feel a little bit heavier. That's it. See how tall you can keep the back of your pelvis. Yeah, this is a lot of good work for the hip joint, the 
hip flexors and our low abdominals. Good, now push out there and stay. Lower the heels beneath the bar, lift them back up, and then bend to return. One, two, three, and four. Good, so difficult to not slump backwards. Whew. Yeah, so we have to really press against the springs and keep our lifted chest. That's it, couple more times. Low back, really staying tall. Good, you guys. So unlike when we're on our backs doing our footwork, we have a really nice view of what's happening with our legs. So take advantage of that. Make sure your alignment looks good. All right, now stay out and hold. Roll the shoulders back and go into some running with your ankles. Start slow so you feel like you can do this without moving the lumbar around. Very good. So we get a nice stretch for one ankle. Ooh, that's a lot of time to spend out there with the springs tight. Couple more. That's it. Try to get taller as time goes on, not shorter. Three, two, one. Now leave one heel beneath the bar. Round forward to stretch over the legs. You can either keep your hands on the box. A little stretchier would be to place your hands on your legs. The most stretchy option, if you can reach, would be to grab onto the foot bar. Okay, so find where you can comfortably grab and then see if you can just let that tension go and drop the heel as far under as you can. Very good. Now keep a grip with wherever you're at and see if you can lift the heel up a little and then drop it back down a little. So we're kind of eking a little bit bigger stretch out. And when we lift the heel, it pulls our body closer to the legs, increasing the hamstring stretch. Good. For two, for one. Now let's bring our body up, grab back onto the box and switch heels, fold forward, grab the foot bar if you can, and then let the head release through the arms. Good, once you've kind of sunk into the stretch, start your little lift and lowers of your heel. Good, now for me, this top knee isn't getting straight. Personally, maybe for you it could get more straight, but I'm really focusing on this bottom leg. Good, two, feel that pull of the arms against the foot bar. Get some nice traction for your spine and then come all the way back up. Pick both heels up high and stretch the knees and then come all the way in. Okay, we're gonna do one more position of the legs. So stay on the balls of your feet, but go externally rotated. So heels together, toes apart, knees out to 45 degrees, hands are on the box. Exhale, we push out and return. Very good. So, so nice being up on the toes. We get a little bit more reach and length through the legs. Very good. Keep stable through that ankle joint so the heels stay lifted. Good. All right, now we're going to work in some of that spinal flexion again when the legs are straight. Fold over the legs, push with the abdominals, and then come back tall as you return. So we flex and stretch the knees. Return as we bend the knees. Very good. So feel that connection between how hard you push with your hands and how much connection you can feel through the abdominals. They really go together. And then up, so good, two more. Good, now pause in your flexion and hold. Lower and lift the heels one time and then return back upright. And we'll do that again. So we flex and hold, drop and lift the heels and then bend and return. Good, couple more, one, two, three, upright, four out. Keep the inner thighs connected. All right, on this one we're going to hold out there and stay and continually lower and lift the legs. If you really wanted to make a challenge for yourself, see if you could let go of the box and reach the arms forward. Now, probably only if you're sitting on a sticky mat will this work. Make sure you're not slipping. For three, good. Carve out those abdominals. Two, Last one, keep the heels high, replace the hands to the box, and then come all the way up. Whew. Awesome.
awesome, you guys. Okay, next we're gonna do a couple single leg presses. Since I have the sticky mat, I'm gonna stay on my two red springs. If you don't have one, you may need to go lighter so you don't slip, okay? Here we go. So if you wanna go lighter, maybe one red and one blue spring. So take your right heel back onto the foot bar, kind of hook the arch of your left foot around the edge of the carriage, okay? Hands come back to the box. Press to find your tall spine, and then start pushing off the foot bar and just see how this feels. Yes. If you don't feel secure or if this feels like too much load, drop your springs down a little bit. Okay, and then ensuring you're right at the front edge of your box to give you the most range of motion. Whew. Good, so if you stayed on those heavier springs, it's twice as heavy since we've removed one of our legs. Good, one more. All right, now come down and hold, reach the arms out, and let's see if we can do a couple presses without the arms. Good, if that's a no-go, place them right back on the box. This bottom foot is kind of pulling against the edge for me, so that's kind of another helpful base for you to rely on. All right, now we're gonna add rotation. When my top leg is straight, I'm gonna twist towards it, opening my arm, and then return to the front. Good, spiraling up tall, and then return to the front. <sighs> Exhale, good, that is no joke. Keeping your low back lifted as we twist without the hands on the box. Ooh, so good. Now hold your rotation and stay, and you're gonna come in and out a couple times, Ooh, maintaining that twist. Good, feel so active through the core for two, Ooh, for one, and then come in and relax. Ooh, okay, switch legs. New leg on, for me that's left. Hands to the box for the first few. Press back to lift, and then start your leg extensions. Oh, very good. So it's almost like you're sitting in a straight back chair. It's just imaginary, we can't see it, but you should feel nice and flat and tall through the back of the spine. Very good, keep an even tempo. Now when you're ready, extend the arms in front of you, test it out, see how you feel. Good, and if you're okay, continue with no hands. If not, return them to the box. Very good, don't rush through it, take your time. Now let's add our twist. So we rotate towards the pushing leg, looking behind us, and then return as we bend. <sighs> Exhale, and then in. Good, looking up and over the back shoulder. <sighs> Good, really stomp into the foot bar. Make as much space through that hip as you can. Very good. Now stay in your twist and continue with the leg. In and out. Think about your front arm reaching, keeping that drive forward for two, for one, and then return to the front and relax. Okay, very good. So hopefully our legs are feeling nice and warm. Uh, let's switch to some arm work now. So I'm gonna go down to just a single blue spring, which is kind of light to medium. Very good. All right, and then reach back and grab your straps. We're gonna stay in this same sitting position on the box. You can scoot back a little bit so you're more in the center. And then hold on to your loops, either the long ones or the short ones, and then open your chest nice and wide. Okay, face your palms to the front. Feel like you're back in that straight back chair. And then start to raise your arms up and down. Very good. Okay, now for me on this blue spring, this does not feel very heavy. So if that's you too, don't worry. It's gonna get harder in a second. And we're also gonna work on some single arm stuff. So if it's light for now, that's probably a good thing, okay? All right, now we're gonna turn this into an arm circle instead of an arm raise. So once our arms go higher than the shoulders, we're gonna flip our palms to face front, 
open the arms to the side, lift your chest, and then as the arms drop down, we kind of bring the chin back to neutral. And we do that again, push forward, flip the palms. If you feel good about it, you can let that upper back extend. Whoo, that's hard on the abdominals. And then as the arms lower, the chin comes back down. Okay, let's do that a couple more times. So take this nice and slow. It's a lot of work for the abdominals. Whoo, low back stays stable. Good, so as we lift the chest, the further the hands go behind our body, the more challenging on the abs and shoulders. So if you're struggling, don't extend your back and keep your hands more forward. And that will kind of help to make this more doable. Okay, chest is lifted. Whoo, so good. Let's do one more here. Very nice. Oh, good, you guys. All right, take your left strap and hang it back up. So here's that single arm I was talking about a moment ago. Good, so the right hand that's still in the strap, you're gonna spin it so the palm is facing down and the strap is going over the top of your hand. Now reach both arms out in front of you so that they're matching. And then just that strapped arm is gonna bend and stretch with no twisting of the spine yet. Okay, so we're working the abdominals by avoiding allowing the spine to rotate. Very good. If this feels too heavy, feel free to switch to your longer loop or decrease your springs. Now, as the elbow bends, we're gonna rotate. I drive my straight arm more forward and then return. Good, so we twist towards the bending elbow and then return to the front. Good, so it's the same rotation that we found in our single leg press exercise that we did a moment ago, except now we have the resistance to contend with. So a lot different challenge. All right, now we're gonna rotate to both sides. So as I straighten my strap arm, my free arm will bend. I rotate to the opposite side of the room and then I come back and face the strap arm. So I'm rotating to both sides. Very good, exhale as your strap arm reaches, inhale as it bends. Let's do two more. Very good, you guys, last one. Oh, so good, oh, not easy. All right, hang that strap up, and we'll do the same thing with the other arm. So pick your loop, have your palm facing the floor, strap goes over the top, kind of the knuckle side of the hand. Both arms reach long, get the shoulders back over the hips. All right, here we go. So back to the most simple version. Our free arm stays put and our strap arm gets moving. Good, feel that elbow kind of dropping back at 45 degrees. All right, now we add our half rotation just towards the strap arm as it bends and then back to the front. So this is almost like if you were like pulling and drawing a bow and arrow back. It's kind of that same movement of the arms. We pull with one and push with the other. That really helps to facilitate a nice deep rotation. All right, now let's go rotating in both ways. Bend the free arm as we twist towards it. Bend the strap arm and twist towards it. Very good, almost like you're wringing your spine out like a rag. Good, you guys, let's do two more. And then last one. Oh, very nice. Okay, go ahead and set your strap down. Okay, we're gonna stay on this single blue spring, except we're gonna change where we're facing. So turn to one side. You can either sit with your legs dangling off of the box or sitting crisscross up on top of the box, whichever feels good to you. So now grab the strap that's furthest forward and hold it in your nearest hand. Interlace the fingers together and we're gonna go into a spine twist. So I'll breathe in and twist towards the pulleys. Breathe out and face the foot bar. Good, inhale and then exhale. Good, sitting crisscross is a little bit more work for the abdominals to sit up, a little bit more work for the hip flexors. So if this feels too tight, dangling the legs will be a little less work on the hip flexors. Very good, you guys. So really focusing in on the obliques to rotate the spine. Good, let's do two more, breathing in 
And then as you exhale, really empty out the lungs, find your deepest twist. Last one. Oh, very good. Okay, now you're gonna bring the feet up on the box with you, so make sure you have some box behind you. You're gonna tuck and roll back so that your spine is kind of in a C curve. Now pass the strap to the opposite hand. You can hold short or long loop. This hand is gonna be wherever is comfortable for you to kind of brace yourself. So you can go on the back corner of the box. You could hold the shoulder rest, whatever makes you feel secure. All right, so squeeze your knees together, reach this arm across your body, and we're just gonna do a bend and reach and then reverse that to come back. Yeah, so kind of like a backhand in tennis. You lead with your elbow and then the back of your hand presses the arm to straight. That's it, so we're keeping our spine and our legs centered as the arm moves across the body. All right, now let's add a rotation. So as my arm comes across, I'm gonna turn to face it, and then same as I pull, I twist with it. Yes, we look and then pull. So kind of combining that twist we did sitting up in this position. Ooh, so good, you guys. Let's do one more. Good, Whew. okay. If that was hard enough, you're gonna repeat that. If you're ready for a little bit more, you're gonna tabletop your legs, which is not easy. So make sure you're tucked under, low back is curved, feet are gonna float up to a tabletop, and then you can do rotating or not rotating, whatever makes you feel the most secure. I'm gonna rotate my spine. So I pull and rotate with the arm, and then return. Good, the trick here is not moving the legs, off of the center line and keeping the low back tucked under. Very good. Now, when the arm is straight, if you'd like, the knees can extend to a full teaser and then they return and bend. Good. So the arm and the legs kind of mimic each other, bending at the same time and then at the top, stretching. So good, you guys, last one. And then bring your legs down and rest. Very good. All right, take your strap back to the original hand, the one closest to the pulleys. Swing your feet away from the foot bar and you're gonna rest your bottom hip on the box. Your bottom arm is gonna come down so your hand is on the edge of the carriage. Okay, bottom knee is bent up on the box. Top leg is straight, okay? Reach the top arm away from you and take a couple bicep curls. <sighs> nice and easy. Good, so this bottom arm being straight, your spine is kind of in a slight side bend, okay? All right, now, after the elbow comes into that bicep curl, we're gonna add an overhead reach. So I bend, reach over to the foot bar, and then I bend and return. This bottom elbow can soften to help you get into more of a long line with the body. Good, now try to leave that leg at hip height. So we're working that outer thigh. Very good. Last addition is gonna be to add rotation, which is my favorite thing, just add rotation to everything. So now once my arm is straight, I'm gonna twist to face the springs and then reverse the arm to come back. So I'm almost aiming my hand to the front corner of my foot bar. I pull and reach. That's it, bottom elbow softening a little bit to help you rotate. Last two, and then last one. So good. Whew. Okay, very nice. Come on up, turn around, and we'll do that on the other side. Okay, so pick how you'd like to sit, either crisscross or with your legs hanging off. If you remember which leg you crossed over, you can try to do the other one in front. Okay, interlace the fingers together and then go into our spine twist. So breathing out as we deepen the abdominals. Oh, very good. Nice, so just kind of scanning the room with your eyes as we twist. Good, keep the arms in this same circle so we can focus more on the abdominals. Good, you guys. Let's do three more twists. Staying centered between your sit bones. Very good. All right, last one. I think that was three. I got distracted. Three. 
Okay, very nice. All right, now bring the legs up on the box with you. Make sure you're not gonna fall off of the back edge. Tuck under and roll back. Reach across with your opposite hand and then pick the most stable place for this hand to be. I kind of like the back corner here. All right, now the abs are working to hold us in our C curve. We're gonna pull and reach and then retract to return. Good, so we're working the back of the shoulder, the tricep, so nice. All right, if and when you're ready, add our twist towards the arm in both directions. So I face the pulleys and then reach. So good, spine stays on the center line. If you squeeze your knees together, that'll help you. Ooh, last one. Ooh, very good. Okay, legs coming up into tabletop. If that was successful for you on the opposite side, so we roll back, we lift the feet up, either twisting or not with the upper body. Pull and then return. Good, you might have to slow down a little bit. You don't wanna feel any jerking or kind of sudden movements on the rope because then that gives kind of a potential to lose your balance. So keep the rope tight, consistent pressure. Good, all right, now legs can extend to a full teaser and then bend to return. Oh, I was sure I was gonna hit the wall, but I didn't, that's good. And then in, just makes me teaser tighter up and then down. Okay, you guys, two more. Extend, keep your low back stable, last one. Whew, okay, very good. All right, last one facing this way. Pass the strap back to your original hand. Swing your legs to the pulleys. Bottom knee is bent. Bottom hand on the carriage. All right, so you lay your spine out long. Leg comes up to hip height. Palm faces forward. And then just start with those couple bicep curls to get us moving. Good, so it probably feels kind of light to start with. That's good because once we reach overhead, things get a little bit trickier. All right, now here we go. We pull and end up with a long arm and then reverse to the start. Bend and reach, good. So try not to lock out this bottom elbow, keep it a little bit soft so that it can kind of respond to the spine and keep you in a good long line. All right, now we add the twist facing the floor as the arm extends and then face the side. Very good, take the eyes with you, look down through the springs. Good, two more, try to reach to the front corner of the bar. Last one. Whew, amazing, okay. Very nice, you guys, that was some tricky stuff. All right, hang your strap up. We are gonna work on a little bit of back extension now. So let's go to a red spring. Uh, if that feels like too intense on your shoulders, you can go a little bit lighter. Okay, now I'm gonna do this with the box, still in this short waist position. If you have back issues or feel a little uneasy, you can do this with the box long ways and it'll support you more from beneath, okay? So you just listen to your body. If you try it and it doesn't feel good, go long box. Okay, so it might be helpful to put your feet on the rails and then you're just gonna lower your hips onto the box with your face over the foot bar, okay? Hands on the foot bar. Now you wanna scoot forward till your hip bones are pretty close to the front edge of the box. So now this is where it might feel a little uncomfortable because we don't have anything underneath our torso. So it is a ton of work for our abs and our ribs to not hang off the box. Yeah, that doesn't feel good on our back. So you have to really gather everything up. So if that strength isn't there, go long ways, okay? So hands shoulder width apart. Feet can be hip width or even a little bit wider apart and turned out. Try to get the body into a long line with your nose over the foot bar. All right, now exhale, draw those abdominals up and squeeze your glutes. Now keep that sensation and you're gonna push the arms to straight and then bend and return. Push and then in. 
Yes, yeah? so you gotta be constantly checking in with your abdominals, making sure they haven't let go whew, of that connection. Very good, and by squeezing the glutes more, that will help to facilitate that. Good, you guys, so we don't have a whole lot of support, so it's all on us to keep those abs in. All right, now pause with the arms long, breathe in, and you're gonna pull your spine up into a swan position, back extending, and then press back to look at the springs. Good, squeeze your glutes, feel your belly button lifting away from the floor, and then release down. Good, keep those abs connected. You don't wanna feel like you're compressing into one vertebrae of your spine. You wanna even out that extension so your spine kind of shares the load equally. That's it. Feel like your abs lift more, more, more. Whoo, last two. All right, now we're gonna put these two movements together into a combination. So push away and look at the floor, bend the elbows, bring the face over the foot bar. Now push up into that top of the swan position. Now we lengthen back to our long spine, bend the elbows, and then push up to your back stretch. So good, couple more times. I push away, I bend the elbows, and then I press my chest up tall. Good, two more times. Drop the chest, pull in, push up. Now pause here and let's reverse it. So bend the elbows first, then we push away. Then you pull up with your arms straight to your back extension. Good, bend, push away and then lift. So good, you guys, two more. Bend, reach and then up. Very good, one more time, bend, push, and then lift. Woo, awesome. Okay, bring your hands down off the bar, slide a foot to the floor, push yourself back, Woo. and come off of your stomachs. All right, good. Next, we are gonna go into a super challenging exercise, and we're gonna have no springs on. Okay, if you don't feel comfortable with that, then you put on the lightest spring that you have. Okay, so change accordingly. I'm gonna go to zero springs. Okay, then place your hands on the box and push it forward so that it's touching the bottom of your machine. So that way it won't move. And then you're gonna step one foot at a time up onto the back rails of your reformer. Okay, so not letting it move. There's no springs on, so you have to be pushing forward to make sure that doesn't happen, okay? So scoot your feet back. You wanna lean back into almost like a downward dog kind of position here. So my shoulders are open. Okay, now I'm constantly pushing so the carriage stays still. Now keep that pressure with the hands and just rock forward to a plank and then push back to that downward dog. Now adjust your feet. So for me, my feet were too close. Yeah, so take these first few little rocks forward and back to either move your hands or move your feet until it feels right, okay? When you push to your plank, you want your shoulders to arrive directly on top of your wrists. My heels have to come off of the machine as I get to the plank, okay? So I'm using that forward pressure of my hands so that there is no movement on my carriage. Very good, let's do that two more times. All right, now here's where we get a little crazy. We pause in our plank. Now this time when I pike my hips, I'm gonna pull my hands backwards on the box and I bring the carriage with me as I arrive over my feet. And you might have to lift your toes up so the carriage doesn't catch them. Now keep the shoulders over the hands, slowly rock back forward and return the carriage to the very bottom. Whew, do that again. It's very hard to make that smooth. It's a ton, a ton of ab work. Good, and then we return forward. So if you have a light spring on, you might not be able to make it fully back over your feet. You'll just have to play around with it. Whew. Good, now if you feel this going into your low back, or you feel like your abs aren't quite strong enough, you wanna lift your tailbone a little higher sooner, and that will help 
Yes, the more you keep your hips forward, the harder it is. Whew. All right, you guys, let's do two more. It looks so easy, it looks like nothing, but whew, those no springs are no joke. All right, last one. Okay, now come into your plank, set the carriage against the stopper, squeeze your glutes and lengthen your spine. Now we're gonna keep our plank, so don't lift your hips. You're just gonna pull your hands back an inch and then return to the stopper. And it might kind of bounce and make a noise. That's okay, push and pull. So we're just doing these tiny little arm drags. Whew, and your abs are gonna start burning, I promise. Three, whew, so hard, two, Last one. Okay, good. All right, just sit your hips back over your heels. Oh, and then stretch. There's no way to pretend that's easy. That's just super challenging. Okay, last thing, we're gonna alternate between push-ups and one of those arm drags. So here we go. The push-up's almost like a break because the arm drag is so challenging. Okay, make sure your box didn't slide. Mine kind of moved, there we go. Okay, so find your plank, hips forward, start with the push-up, well, however big your push-up is today, down and up. Now do your little one inch pull and release. And then we go again, down and press, pull and release. So good, lower, lift and release. Try to make the return of the carriage as gentle as possible. It's a very hard thing to do. Whew, so good, you guys. All right, let's do two more rounds. We can do it. Try to leave the hips level. Head stays up. Last one. Okay, carriage against the stopper. Weight back over the feet. And then very carefully, don't let your machine move as you step down. Whew. Good job, okay. Roll your wrists, stretch out your hands a little bit. Good. Kind of makes you feel brave when you do <laughs> no spring stuff. So good job. All right. We are going to do one last little series, kind of a planky series, but with the help of some springs. Okay. So I'm going to do a blue and a white, which for me is like three quarter springs. Okay. If you go lighter, it's gonna be even harder on your abs. If you go heavier, it's gonna be harder on your shoulders. So the kind of one medium, one light spring is a happy medium. Okay, so we're gonna come forward, place our hands on the foot bar, step your feet up onto the carriage, and then prep, prop your heels up against the box in a high half toe, all right? So if your toes are too close to the box, it's not gonna work, so have a little bit of distance. Okay, now you're gonna step your right foot onto the top of the box. Your left leg is down and straight. Okay, now rock some weight back into your feet. Don't move the carriage, and just bend and stretch that front leg. So you're gonna end up kind of sitting your hip back to your top heel. Yes, and this can be as big or as small of a movement as you like. Just kind of working through this position. Good, make sure the knees are tracking forward. Two more. Now pause kind of halfway down so there's a little bit of space between the hips and the back heel. Maintain your shoulders where they are and you're gonna push the legs back to straight and then bend to return. Yes, now our legs are not level with each other. They've got this kind of height disparity going on. So those joints are doing slightly different things, but the pelvis and shoulders should be totally square. That's it, do two more. Now pause in your plank with your long legs. You're gonna pike your tail to the ceiling, bend your knee that's on the box to pull the carriage in, and then push back to that plank. So I pike, I bend my knee of my box foot, and then I push it back to straight. So it's kind of this like elephant slash plank to pike situation. Whew, so good, you guys. Last two. Last one, and then bend your knees and come in. Whew. Very good. All right, let's do that on the other side. Okay, so right foot down, left foot back, shift the weight over the legs, 
and then start bending and pressing. Ooh, so good. So really mobilizing the lower legs, the knees, the ankles. Good, your top heel is off of the box. Pause about in the middle and hold, and we'll kick the box away, and then in. Good, make sure your box isn't sliding off to one side. Kind of push hard with both feet. Good, draw the abs up and in. Keep pressure down with your foot that's on top of the box. It's not just hovering. Good, two more. Now pause with your straight legs and we're gonna pike to come in. Our single knee will bend and then we push back. Good, pike and pull and then press out. Good, bend and then press. That bottom leg remains long. Whew, two more, lift and press, last one. Whew. Bend your knees and come in. Oh, amazing job, good. All right, last thing, we're gonna finish with a stretch. So I'm gonna go light, I'm gonna go back to my single blue and we're gonna stretch it out. Okay, so you're gonna take your nearest foot up onto the foot bar, closest hand is on the box. Your other arm is gonna reach up and twist towards the foot bar, or kind of behind the foot bar. Now, we're gonna push out, get to kind of a straddle inner thigh stretch. You're gonna rotate your upper body and try to thread the needle of this arm underneath the other. Bend the foot bar leg, twist and come back. And then we do that again, exhale, rotate, knee goes out from underneath. I try to drop this shoulder to help me twist and then come in and open. Good, couple more. So keeping the movement flowing, try not to get stuck anywhere. Good. All right, let's do this one more time in both directions. Ooh, really releasing that upper back. Last one, good. All right, carefully grab the foot bar if you need to, step down, okay, walk around, and we will do that on the other side. So climb onto your new side, get your new foot up to the foot bar. The more forward it is, the better, okay? Here we go, so we twist over the foot bar leg, take a breath in, exhale, we push away and twist. Very good. So the bottom knee is gliding out from underneath. Get that shin away from your midline to help increase the distance. So good. So it's this interesting combination of lower body stretch, upper body mobility. So good, you guys. Okay. Let's do one more time all the way through. Awesome. All right, carefully come out of that. And with that, we are all done. Thank you so much for joining me for today's super challenging short box reformer workout. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave it a like. Leave me a comment down below if you have any feedback or requests for future videos. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, turn on your notifications, and please share this video with a friend. And I will see you next time. Thank you, bye.